Good morning everyone, welcome back to the vlog. I'm in the 458 GT3 Spider and I'm headed to my favorite cafe, Carrera Cafe, so that we can build the very infamous Nizan Z, the cut sandwich in BTC. And we're going to do a three to four day build. I have uh, the owner, Mark Makaida, coming later. Mark Makaida, I'll post his Instagram here so you guys can give him a follow. The parts that we're installing on the Nissan Z are the Street Hunters kit and uh, we got some beautiful work wheels also to go with it. Now we painted the kit, so I'm not quite sure if we can do Nakai levels of install, but should be fairly easy. We were watching some tutorials online on how to do it, and hopefully we don't run into some snags because once the kit is painted, it's very hard to adjust and we don't want to damage the paint. Along with the build week, we're going to have Kyle from Fitment Engineering and the whole Fitment team to help assist us in the build. And we're gonna to try to slow it down because it's a weekday now and we want to save some work for the weekend because that's when most of the people can come by and see the car. The 458 is so dirty so I gotta get it detailed as well. In Carbon which is one of our friends and sponsors also for every time we build in this cafe Carbon and along with the 4x4 shop are always helping us out and uh, we're gonna drop by today and say hi to them both. Look how filthy this car is. This is not paint, so please don't fret, but yeah. Carbon. It's so dirty. The car's been in the shop and needs a full detail. Carbon is over here. Oh, Mark's here, Agama. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, no. Vlogging and vlogging. Yes, yes, yes. Vlogging on vlogging. Carbon is a full detail shop and they're gonna take care of the 458. Mark is the owner of the infamous Nissan Z, Tanwich Z. So we're going to leave the car here for detailing and then later we can move it outside. We have RWB Ayanami outside there for display over the next few days. And we're just resetting up our table to be over here so that we're out of the way for people to look at the car. Now the Street Hunters kit is comprised of new fenders. The rear will be over fenders and everything else is add-on. And it has a lot of carbon parts and double layered items. So layer on layer of items. So um, the Z had to be fixed. We still have the damaged daylight here from the accident. So you guys can tell that this is authentic. <laughs> Anong feeling mo nung nabangga yung Z? Sobrang nakakahiya. Sobrang, ay, ay, hindi, hindi ako nang hinay sa car eh. Nahiya ako sa, sa mga tao. It's because that day, almost 1,000 people at least. Grabe, tapos pagkabangga, lahat ng tao, they clap talaga. Tapos parang, ha, parang dito naman kami, nandito para mag ano. Yung parang asar pa. Yes, 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 grabe, grabe. Well, from the video, what you guys didn't see kasi, was the security nila, was telling light. everyone to move. Yes. Diba? E eh, problema, kasi close yung intersection. Yes, right? close yun, yeah. close yun. May event yun eh, may event, uh, February 11 yun eh. As kung ma-review nyo, February 11, meron event. Yes, that sports day. car for a cause. Yes. And Mark was actually the worst kasi siya yung na-sandwich between two cars. Yes, kaya siya Z sandwich. With sandwich. A Z, with a Z. Uh oh. So we have the Z sandwich, but today is about transformation. Yes. Hopefully in the next few days, na you're going to be happy with how everything looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited to try modding your car. Actually, so, I'm not a fan of wide body. Pero lagi ko nakikita yung mga cars nyo na yan, like the RWB. So yeah. sabi ko ito mo na yung for the meantime. Ito mo na yung project natin. So one day, baka magka-RWB ka Hopefully, na hopefully. <laughs> sana. Pala rin. Pala rin. You can follow Mark on his YouTube channel. Yes, at Mark Markaida sa YouTube channel. Oh, yan. Mark Markaida. Car vlogger that. Ano lang? Kuno. <laughs> car vlogger, car vlogger kuno. kuno. <laughs> Bringing down our Prasis Air Struts, which we'll put right here so we can show you guys this beautiful suspension that is custom made for this car. Trying out this new impact gun, Mark supplies this. It's Kyocera. And the boys have loosened the wheel already, but we will try it when we install the wheels later on. Ah, but if I burn out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
installing the front fenders already and here they have the headlight on already Kyle just got here Hi. Mr. Fitman I know, we pro crew tayo today yeah. with monitor <laughs> So we got the side skirt on and working at the snail space, deciding whether we're going to cut the underside here, but I can see it already it's tweaking out. So we gotta cut it here so the skirt lays down. After we cut, the whole skirt needs to come out so that they can bolt everything together and then remount it. So Kev's now taping it up for me and I am the master trimmer. Actually, he's the master trimmer. I'm just the show trimmer. <laughs> Right now, we're pulling out the right rear fender and we're going to see what needs to be done to mount that on. So we have a visitor from the US, yep. Mr. DTM Auto Body right back here. Home. Back home, back home. I have a feeling you're going to move here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Doing a 3D scan. Oh, so you put key point trackers too. Just to go back. Yeah, just to have a, a data to analysis. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's too bright. interesting problems with the hidden hardware because every time we mount it the angle of the screw changes we're gonna call it a day it is already 5 20 and we're going to leave a lot of work for tomorrow we want to do half day work again tomorrow so that by saturday we're still working just a little fine tuning a big struggle on the rear fender but now we know how the fenders and sides could work tomorrow it'll be super easy for the other side tomorrow i'm going to bring my 3d scanner so that we can see if my scanner is better than kyle's scanner but this side looks good already I'm so happy the active wing on the BMW M4 finally works and I want to track the car to find out if it really improves the lap times if I switch it on or switch it off. But for now, it's continuation of the build for the Nissan Z. Yesterday, we were able to put on the fender along with the side skirt along with the front fenders and this little piece which extends the front bumper. So this side looks really good already and I was explaining to Mark how the black color sort of kills all the shapes and design and I hope that he ends up wrapping it a brighter color so that we can really see this beautiful shape of the Street Hunters kit. So this is the boring stuff. This is putting on the screens. My biggest fan. <laughs> Come stuff. Thanks for passing by. Finally, the adjustment is finished. So the boys finally arrived and I'm done mounting the rear fender flare. I like how this shape is. We're gonna work our way up. I'm gonna leave the inner lip so that we can do RWB style. We're gonna bend the inner lip in and seal it with Sigaflex and aluminum tape. Thank you, Nakai, for teaching us that method. these work wheels these are super aggressive with the meaty toyo rubbers boys holding the fender on we're almost done with this side <music> professor kyle and fran are 3d scanning my sls swing this is much better than and this is the sls base swing from the darwin pro kit which i don't want to destroy so we're going to print it. Fran's our designer and Kyle is our engineer. I'm the capitalist. Speed up the body kits. Yeah. And who knows? Fran can design and your kit. 
Yeah. Just have to find a car to design on. Yeah. We were going to solid mount the passenger fender already and uh, the gap was a little too big for my taste so I'm gonna overtime tonight to fix that fender I don't like the gapping hopefully it doesn't have the same issue with the driver's side tomorrow day three here I'm feeling a little lackluster Kyle is still busy scanning the rear wing so we're trying to bring 3d development faster and make sure that we make kits faster the gapping for the rear quarter is kind of big and I had this idea yesterday that I want the boys to execute. We're going to figure out if it's going to work. Now the Nissan Z Street Hunter Skit isn't meant for live build, but we took a chance, we painted it, and it's a little risky, but hopefully we can pull through. We'll see what happens within the day. Hopefully we can finish it, so tomorrow it'll just be all about displaying the car. I'll update you guys again later if we run into any more problems with the Zanwich Nissan Z. Good morning. Morning. So we're cleaning the car now, and uh, we're gonna start on this side. So just airing it out because we have video. Everyone's good at nagtatagalog daw ko. The driver's side fits way worse than the passenger side. I thought it was gonna be better. Boys have been sanding the shit out of the inside lip, hoping that we can get it to sit. Half an inch gap. Kev's gonna go back to the shop and we're going to cut the rear fender. Hopefully we can fix the problem, but for now we'll try to finish as much as we can and get the car on the ground so Kyle can set the air suspension. no mounting weirdly and the wing base has clips and screws but we're gonna use some metal clips two metal clips double tape in the middle and then we're gonna seek flex the hole so we don't have any leak and then we'll seek flex seal the whole wing on the trunk the trunk wing fits perfectly no adjustment so it's just really the rear quarters that was an issue for this whole build Wow, this double lip setup is so low, wild. So Norman and uh, Ralph are just finishing the front lip and then we're gonna mount some wheels so we can bring the car down. It is uh, already 3.50 and I need to go at five. It's just that version four, version five. 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 Kyle is uh, tap dancing with his fingers. Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, BA, select, start. Hello, <laughs> my own? Yeah. Contra? Yeah. Oh, I know the pattern. It's playing. Contra. Norman's almost done with the chin. And damn, this front end looks so good. I'm so glad that Mark went with the air struts because that lip is going to get left everywhere. Work wheels going on now. We'll do a test drop. Kyle's doing air suspension check. And we won't have the rear fender, but we'll leave it down for today. Ready ko na makita? Let's go, game na. Kahit wala yung isang fender. Okay oh, lang, maganda lang. <laughs> for sure. Yung kapila na lang tingnan mo. Too bad we don't have a rear fender, but it'll do for now. We'll be back tomorrow. Down, coming down. I think I have these low profile jacks. Max height? That's high. Okay, come on, let's go. Oh well, let's air out, screw it. Um, wait, check the fender, silicone, double check lamp. And go, 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 go. Front, please. Go, go. Check the lip, check the lip. 
Oh sh! <laughs> Bam! Uh, <laughs> uh, just for context, Mark doesn't do super low cars. Yeah, first time. <laughs> first time. First time. How's it look? Ganda. So four by four tile, pero oh. grabe. Oh, four by four siya, pero yes. reverse. Pabaliktad. <laughs> <laughs> Pabaliktad. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, boom. <laughs> you have to just fit the rear fenders tomorrow, so I yes. guess that's the last hurdle. Yes. And it's then not a car, it's not a car build without problems. <laughs> and then check the rear fitment, and then yeah. we're good. Good morning, everyone. Last day here in Carrera Cafe. It's Sunday, and Kev has the fender. Kev shaved the whole inner lip from here to there and we re-glassed it inside and we moved the bolts up also because uh, this whole lip was hitting so if you see the shaved lip it used to be up until here so we're just gonna bond this on the fender hopefully this is works because yesterday the gapping for the rear fender was about one inch and super unhappy about that so how much time fit man? but mukhang dadapa good job this guy, genius. Styles boys are finishing up the airtime. Today it's just all about finalizing the kit. Norman finalizing the chin also down here. The car looks super good. Last piece of the fender and this one and the lower skirt and then we're done. This piece looks super good. I love the rear fender vents here. We have Mr. Fran over there. 3D scanning, the SLS wing. We're cleaning up. We're gonna take a flex everything. Even the wings gotta get silicone done. So we did our best possible effort and the fender looks like this now. After alterations, you guys saw it yesterday. And we're still gonna take a flex this on. Check out this beautiful caliper fitment from work wheels really pushing the boundaries here. We're gonna do fender liners when we get to the car shop. We're just checking now if we need to shave any more of the front fender. Look how low this thing is. Like one, one finger to the ground. We're wrapping up now and yep. just want to make sure Mark is happy. Super happy. And Shempre, Cal. Happy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much again for trusting us to build your car here. It's a Carrera Cafe and it looks good. It turns out grabe. Sabi ko na first ride by the kids, pero grabe. Oh, medyo jealous ako. Yeah. Buti na lang ano. Buti na lang na init, na init. Buti na lang, oh. Ganda, ganda. I really like how it came out. I love it when it airs out. It looks so good. Sunday is the last day here and I'm going to call it a day. The car is being prepped for some sealant. We're going to stick a flex everything. But thank you so much to Carrera Cafe, Carbon Detailing Studio, 4x4 Portal, and the staff here, Carbon Racing, the Fitment Engineering staff, Kyle, Mark Markaida, and his video team. Everything was fun. We In the beginning, we were taking it super slow, and then we didn't realize that the rear fenders were going to become a big issue. Literally a big issue. I think Mark is generally happy with how the car looks, and we told him it's a lot of finishing touches when we have to test drive the car, fix the fender lining, and set everything else but for now he's gonna leave the car for one more day here on display at Carrera Cafe our favorite cafe to build cars and in four days we were able to transform a stock Nissan Z into this beautiful Street Hunters wide body car and it looks so good I'm glad he went with the Brazis air suspension because that front lip overhang is gonna get destroyed literally within minutes so the car looks so much better anyway on air and the work Meister wheels look amazing. Again, thanks for watching and I uh, hope to see you guys in the next wide body episode project here in our favorite cafe, Carrera Cafe. Cheers. <laughs>